Hey all, I'm going to help you today because I believe in each one, teach one, and there's enough for everybody. I'm going to help you improve your Etsy listings. And the thing that I'm going to suggest to you is pause this video and go sign up for Marmalade. M-A-R-M-A-L-E-A-D dot com. Marmalade. Because Marmalade will save you a lot of time and it'll, and it'll save you a lot of pondering hours of wondering like, why aren't my cool items selling on Etsy? Because there is the, a game, life is a game. So you need to sign up for Marmalade because Marmalade will grade your listings. I've had, I had listings that I always wonder like, why aren't these selling? Why don't I, why don't I get any traction to my page? It's simply because my listings were not written well. I didn't have the proper title. I didn't have a certain amount of words in my description and I did not utilize what you will come to know as long tail keywords. These are the key, long tail keywords are the key to making your listing visible on Etsy. And the best way to use, utilize long, t, key, long tail keywords, excuse me, is in your tag words. And one thing, for sh one thing that is key is you must use all 13 tags in order to improve your listing and your rating on Etsy. So what is a long tail keyword? Because that is the most important thing I need. I think most people need to know about your listings on Etsy. A long, t a long tail keyword in a nutshell is when someone is searching for something on Etsy, it's like, what are they looking for? Like, let's, for example, mm, I'm looking for a wedding invitation for my wedding that's coming up. What kind of wedding invitation are you looking for, Karen? Well, I have a hippie wedding, kind of a rustic wedding. So you would probably type in rustic wedding invitations. And that my friends is a long tail keyword. Always think about what people are searching for and that will help you in creating tags because there's no one page Google search that's gonna tell you what the proper long tail keyword is for your listing so when you're posting something just think of what how people would describe this image this invitation this whatever this these earrings that you're listing on etsy like oh i i need half moon with a floral earring so think about that when doing long tail keywords and then when you're writing your description, and I'm working from the bottom up on the Etsy listing, when you're writing your description, there's a certain amount of words. It's between 350 to like 700 words maximum, but try to keep it at 350 words of a description and make sure everything is clear. So when people buy, actually purchase, they won't have anything to review, like, re like to knock you when reviewing. But that's another story. That's another video. So long tail keywords, your description must be succinct and within 350 to 500 words. Don't go over because you will start getting dinged. And then let's go up a little bit further to the title. The title, like you might think, oh, I've seen elegant wedding invitations listed before, but it's okay. List it again like that. I would actually advise that you go and look at your competitors titles and just kind of do the same especially if your competitors have lots of sales it's all I mean listen there's nothing new under the Sun and cheating is kind of okay in this situation because you're trying to get sales you're trying to get traction to your page so that's all for now. I hope this helped you because I wish there was a short, succinct video out there when I was making my listings. But bye for now. Hit that like button and subscribe. Have a good one.